So one of the best parts about living in the Pacific Northwest is that we have an incredible amount of endemic species. Um, endemic meaning a biological term for only living there. We've got the Sasquatch, the mermaids, the sound, and my particular favorite, the Pacific Northwest tree octopus, which is an endangered species. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a cephalopod that's not only adapted the ability to move on the land, but it's actually become arboreal. It lives in trees, um, surviving in, in the moist climate of the Pacific uh, Olympic Peninsula rainforest that migrates the sound each year. The problem is if you're believing any of this, and if you've peeked at this site while I was talking, um, <laughs> uh, you, you, there's an issue. Uh, and what I'd like to do today is uh, walk through um, this site with you like I would with my students to kind of show you how to find out if a, if a website is valid, if a website is real, if the information on it is valid. So to do this I'm going to use Alan November's acronym REAL, R-E-A-L, to walk you through how to determine whether or not a website is real. So R, the first one, is read the URL. Um, so let's take a look at the URL. We've got uh, zapatopi.net backslash tree octopus. Um, first thing I would do is look at the domain name and decide Zapatopi. Does that sound like an educationally based site? Eh, I would say no if I was first looking at this. I'm also looking at the extension. I've got the extension .net. Um, usually the .nets, the .coms are not as um, not as valid. It could be more biased than, uh, for say, .gov or .edu sites. Um, I don't see any tildes or percent signs or names in here that would indicate uh, that it's someone's personal uh, web page. And then uh, probably the last thing I do up here is something called truncating, where you can actually go uh, and delete the backspaces to see what you would get. So .net, hit enter, and see where that takes me. Um, and I can see that it takes me Zapato Productions are interdimensional. So um, that truncating process shows me that uh, there might be some issues already. Moving back to the site, um, the, the next letter in the reel is E for examine the content. This is where it gets a little tricky. You actually have to have to use your mind. Um, you can start reading through this, and uh, I'll, I'll let you do this on your own on your own time. But as we as we go through here, it sounds. Um, fairly real. Uh, there are links that if I go to, they will take me to sites um, like Wikipedia, about Temper Rainforest, that sounds viable. Um, it's not really until I get down to why is it endangered that I start reading uh, about, you know, that they're fed on by Sasquatch and a few other things like that, um, that I kind of have some red flags going. But the pictures look valid. They've got your, your scientific uh, maps of, of the range of where they're living, even pictures of where they're going. As I move along the site, I'll jump up here to the uh, facts page. And here's where uh, you start you start having to use your mind and realize that things are, are uh, not all the way right. Now there's a lot of uh, videos that go through uh, how to say the name in all different languages, which would really throw students off. Um, but if you really start going through here, why are Sasquatches allowed to, to gather tree octopuses uh, if they're endangered? Um, you can tell there's some sarcasm and humor uh, and that this site is probably not real. If you move along into sightings, this would throw students off as well. You can see there's videos of, of these tree octopuses climbing. People have done some great Photoshop work um, throughout, although when you get down, I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom. Start saying people have uh, essentially hung stuffed animals in the trees, so um, that makes it a little bit less valid. The media portion of this is actually um, fairly astounding. Uh, this scrolls for quite a while, and these are all different types of books, articles, in both fiction and non-fiction, and movies. Uh, anything where a, a cephalopod that lives in the trees or an octopus that lives in the trees to be mentioned. Some of these look look valid, but when you really start looking into them, um, you can see that there's a lot of sci-fi, comedy, um, uh, pictures that just are not real and, and uh, kind of show that this animal probably doesn't actually exist. Now, there's even an activities page, if we go into this tab, where you can 
cut out something and, and help with the plight of the octopus, which again has that kind of satirical humor in it. Uh, you know, when you have filled the box with treats hanging on a branch uh, where the tree octopus dwell, and the tree octopus enjoy the challenge of removing treats from the box. So, um, though I can tell it's humor, um, I could see where students could definitely get caught up and hung up on this. This must be totally real. Now the next step in the uh, real R E A would be ask about the author and the owner, um, and this one's fairly obvious on this site where it wouldn't be on a lot of uh, sites that had had issues. We can see down here on the bottom really easily. Uh, it has the na the author, uh, the copyright date, the company, when it was created, when it was last updated, uh, which all makes it seem like a a fairly uh, valid site. The author, as you're reading it, seems knowledgeable if you're not catching on to the sarcasm and the humor. Um, and when it comes down to it, it's really about clicking the links on the bottom. We can see that the parent page, if I click on the CPI, it takes me up to uh, Zapato Productions International again. Um, and all of it goes back to here. But going back, it's when you hit the uh, fax button that you really realize um, what's going on. The author has been very nice to provide email and nodes and all sorts of questions, but if you start reading through some of these questions, um, you can tell that uh, there's some fairly bogus information on here, and it starts talking about some of the other sites um, that I'll mention in a moment. Now, the last part of this acronym is... Uh, is, is L, sorry, R-E-A-L, or look for the links. And the two links we're looking for are two types of links. We're looking for forward links, um, which I've already shown you when I click on temperate rainforest and uh, some of these other ones. It takes me to sites like Wikipedia that uh, are, are kind of widely held as, as acceptable. Um, but as you really start flipping through it and you start clicking on, for instance, these Sasquatch links, you'll start coming across a bunch of other links um, to Republic of Cascadia, uh, Cascadia Bureau of Sasquatch Affairs, the Sasquatch Militia, um, and uh, I, I don't have it on here, but um, the Aluminum Foil Deflector, I'll, I'll find it in a second. So um, a bunch of other sites that all uh, have this zapatopi.net domain name and are all uh, fairly bogus, even if they're humor. So uh, the forward links, even though there are a bunch, um, when we look at what those links are, they kind of say that it's not necessarily a valid site. Uh, in terms of backlinks, there's actually a bunch. Uh, this is largely due to these icons uh, that you can put on your own site. So a lot of people have pasted these Save the Tree Octopus um, things on their own sites that link back into here. For final conclusion on this site, um, it is actually really tricky to tell if it's real. And if I was a middle school student, for instance, I teach middle school science, I can see why my students would be completely uh, just enamored with their new favorite animal. Um, you really have to get the sarcasm and the humor and think about uh, some of the stuff that's in there. There's kind of two main misgivings if I was to point uh, students towards it. One is the content itself, like I mentioned, compared with you know what else you know about Sasquatch, what else you know about octopus and the other would be um, that all the domains are linked back to that um, Zapatopi and, and other sites that uh, you know the Bureau of Sasquatch Affairs and Militia that um, are probably a little bit bogus. Well you might wonder why you would point your students to a site that is so tricky and, and pretty covers all the bases pretty well uh, in terms of validity. Um, it's also a challenge I think would be a good you know challenge your students like find out like how could you show me uh, that this site isn't real and, and giving them great practice um, for other sites. It's also a safe site. Uh, all the links are kind of within itself um, and all of them are safe. Uh, I've clicked through I think everyone I could find. Um, another good good reason for it's good for students. In terms of my own reflection, this has uh, been a great process for me to actually walk through this acronym. There's a couple different acronyms out there I really liked real. Um, but walking through that actually having me uh, look at the site, truncate the things, look at the links um, to find out uh, if it is if it's a valid site. Um, I think this would be really wise to do uh, with students and also uh, with several other sites. If if you knew they're searching for a certain thing, um, having you know typing that in on Google and uh, finding out. Uh, if there's if there's other bogus sites out there, I also plan in my own classroom to post the acronym real. Um, I think that'll help out and talk there. 
Uh, beyond that, check out some of the links and resources I put in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.